Good morning, Theo. It's not actually morning. It is certainly not. It's actually <laughs> dinner time. Yeah. We just started vlogging. So it's morning for you. Yeah. In the vlog watching. Do, clocks, the vlog. do clocks even count when you have a newborn? I don't think so. No. We don't really know <laughs> what time it is anymore. <laughs> it's day three. Right? Of being home. Of being home. Day five of being here. Day five. So he's five days old. Still brand new. We've, we're, we're, we're making it. We're making it work so far. It's been uh, very tiring. I've uh, gotten very little sleep. But it's been worth every single second. Every sleepless second. Absolutely. So the first night, we got him home. Uh, my sister-in-law, her sister Jazz, was here to help. And thank goodness, because uh, yes. <laughs> the first night... Was rough. It was rough. To put it simply. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because he was very new still, and his sinuses had to adjust to breathing air. And we hear that this is pretty common with uh, newborns. We didn't know that at the time, but now we know. That they have to get used to breathing air? Yeah, it's pretty common. I never thought of that. He that makes congestion. sense. Congestion. He was very agitated with congestion. Yeah, and he was trying to eat, right? And... His nose was plugged, so when he was eating, he couldn't breathe. And that was driving him crazy because he really wanted to eat. He was really hungry. And we were, well, he start, started panicking, right? Because he couldn't get air in his nose. Yeah. And we start panicking because it looks like he's having trouble breathing. So we called Manitoba Helpline. We got a nurse on the phone who calmed us down, walked us through it, asked a bunch of questions about, uh, you know, especially if he has a fever or not. And he didn't. Thank goodness. So she said, you know what, this is very common. There's nothing wrong. Just take him into the bathroom and steam him. And so I did. For 20 minutes, threw the shower on hot. And then I paced back and forth. Uh, outside of the shower, obviously. You don't take a baby into steaming hot water. <laughs> or yourself. <laughs> we um, know that much. <laughs> just for the record, just to explain that. Anyways, uh, steamed him, suctioned out his nostrils, and he seemed to be better. Yes. But we did not go to sleep until about 6 a.m. And only for like an hour, maybe. Mm -hmm. And that's, let's not forget that Auntie Jazz, her sister, was amazing through all of this. She, she helped us, us through those moments. Yeah, she got up, helped us through it. She stayed here with our dogs while we were in the hospital for two days. Uh, cleaned the house, did all of our laundry, got everything ready for us when we came home. And came to see us at the hospital the first day. So, Jads, if you're watching this, thank you so much for all of your help. Yes. It was absolutely amazing. I was I was blown away with everything you did for us. You made it a lot easier for us. She even let us sleep like an extra, what, hour or two? Yeah, she had that to get morning, going. She had to leave. She had somewhere to be, and she stayed. Mm -hmm. Stayed an extra hour just so that we could get some sleep because we were just exhausted. And, uh, you know, being panicked. It's our first night home. We just got Theo home. And we, we thought that he was, like, suffocating or, like, not breathing. Turned out it, it was all okay. It was something that's kind of to be expected. We'll know that next time. We, we won't panic as much. Uh, one piece of advice I'll give you guys, and you may know this already, but if you don't, never Google these things. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because I Googled what happens when a baby's nose is congested or why is it congested how to uncongest all these things and i kept getting this result saying that newborn babies can only breathe through their nose so if they if their nose is plugged they're going to suffocate yeah along those lines i'm like huh? what what he can't breathe through his mouth the, the article said newborn babies cannot breathe through their mouths so I'm on the on the phone with this nurse, right? I'm like, he's not breathing through his nose. Like, what, what do we do? Do we need to go to the ER? What do we do? She's like, he'll breathe through his mouth. Oh. <laughs> but the internet said that he wouldn't. Stupid and internet. and she's like, where did you hear that? I said, Google. Google. Dr. Google. She's like, don't ever do that. Call us. <laughs> so don't listen to Dr. Google. No. Call the nurses. And she said, "That's there's, there's absolutely no chance of that. He won't like breathing through his nose. He's going to be very upset about it. He'll probably scream a little bit, but he's not going to stop breathing. If his nose is plugged, he will breathe through his mouth. He just won't be happy about it. He's fine. Whew. It was stressful. And we hadn't had any sleep, really. I think you 
might have slept five and a half hours in those two days in the hospital. I slept less than four. I was actually up for 39 hours straight at one point. Mm -hmm. It was... We were stressed. We were... Yeah. We were anxious and scared, so... But we made it through the first night. The sun came up the next day, and he was out like a light. Slept just fine. Convenient. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the next night, mm. sinuses weren't a problem. That problem was fixed. My mom brought us a little vaporizer, too, to place by his bassinet, so that, you know, just in case... He, uh, just in case the air was too dry with like maybe we had some fans blowing on him or maybe it was from the hospital air coming to something happened anyways that his sinuses were dried out because they weren't running so we made sure we took care of that that problem was fixed but the second night we didn't get any more sleep his sinuses were fine but he could not eat enough he was so hungry and i thought i was gonna run out yeah so now we're worried that we're not going to have enough food. And it's 3 in the morning. This is Steinbeck. Nothing's open at 3 in the morning. We can't just run to the store and get formula. But luckily, she had just enough. Oh, he's just enough. Oh, is he awake now? Yeah. Come and join the vlog, Theo. Hi. You want to say hi? You had us so worried. We're new to this. you got to take it easy on us, man. Yeah. You gotta take it easy on mom and dad. Mm. We're just learning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Good power nap? Yeah. Oh, and I'm doing it again. You just get caught staring at him. <laughs> it happens. Just, what a precious little miracle. Yes, he is. Oh goodness, let's unwrap you from this very awkward blanket. So the second night, he was screaming because he was hungry. And, you know, we'd feed him and feed him. And he wanted to feed like every hour. And uh, we made it through that night. And as soon as the sun came up, out like a light. All day. So during the day, we're like, wow, he's such a cool, chill baby. Like This is going to be so easy. All he does is sleep. This is awesome. If this is what he does during the day, he'll sleep through the whole night. Oh, no, no. If this is what he does during the day, he's going to do the opposite at night. <laughs> now we know. Uh oh, so needs a bottle, I think. Yeah. Let's go warm up a bottle while Daddy tells stories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, the second night was sleepless because uh, we were trying to get on a feeding schedule. And uh, also the worry about running out of food. So... <laughs> That was fun. So now we're in the process of trying to get his natural schedule realigned with, you know, the normal world where you're up during the day and sleep at night. And that's going to take a little while to, to slowly get that in motion, in place. But we're getting there. This last night was actually pretty good. He slept an hour and a half. An hour and a half? An hour and a half from 3 o'clock till 4.30. And that is an hour and a half more than we had the previous two nights mm -hmm. so i take it as a win so i mean obviously he's still very new he's not sleeping through the entire night but we got a schedule going that made this last night and today much better for us because she needs to get her sleep she's the one with the food producing the food so she went to bed and uh after an hour and a half when he woke up again uh i got up with him and we had some uh some food in bottles so i'm able to feed him I got up, I fed him, I brought him out here, and uh, stayed up with him till about, for about an hour or two. And I tried putting him down and again and again until I finally got it. So in the early morning, I let her sleep. I came out here, took care of him, fed him actually a couple of times, changed his diapers. Uh, and I stayed out here until she got up. I just let her sleep until she woke up. And then when she woke up, I was obviously more tired then. She took over with him, and I went to sleep. And I slept till about noon. And so now we're both rested. Yes. So we just figured out uh, a shift schedule that worked for last night. We'll see what works for tonight. But it's definitely, definitely gotten better since the first night and the second night. This, this last night was good. We'll see. See, hopefully we can keep that up. Oh, oh he's going over there. He's getting hungry. Oh, no. <laughs> but... 
so far so good it's been a blast and i wouldn't change one of these tired seconds or anything else i'm enjoying every last second of it well, we could have done without the nasal scare <laughs> yeah next time we'll be a little more aware and smart you know that's right you got the bottle i got the bottle we need to bib so the system we've come up with is bottle feeding so Britt pumps throughout the day whenever she needs to stores it and then when he needs to feed uh he's bottle fed mm -hmm. he seems to prefer it honestly mm -hmm. um and uh i prefer it because it hurts less and uh we still do skin to skin during bottle feeds a lot of the time but also josh gets to feed a lot of the time too yes yeah, so. so this way i can feed him yeah and oh. also we know exactly how much he's eating because you know yes. if, it, if he latches straight on to brit there's no way of really telling exactly how much he got exactly so this way we can always keep track yeah. And that's what we've decided to go yeah. with. It's been working really well. Mm hmm It's not for every mom. It's all about personal choice, but he's still getting all the nutrients that he needs. My baby's still eating. Um, and uh, we do have formula on hand in case all of a sudden my supply goes low or what have you. Um, and formula seems to agree with his belly as well because I, I was running a little bit low yesterday and I started panicking, and so we tried him on formula and... Uh, He's good, so yeah. we know he's got a good, strong belly at this point. And, uh, yeah, as long as our kid is eating, I mean, that's really what matters. Mm -hmm. It's all about personal choice, honestly. So, yeah, when we feed by bottle, like I was saying, it gives me the ability to feed then as well, because I can't naturally participate in that process. <laughs> so it, it's been nice. And she did mention that we have the formula now. That was due to our... Uh, second night where we were, had that scare where we just about ran out of anything to give him and it was three in the morning and yeah people in hindsight might say well you should have had some on hand well no. hindsight is 2020 right <laughs> new parents are a little bit overwhelmed with how much they need to have on hand with mm -hmm. everything else and all the preparing we're new so the very next day her dad and stepmom went out and picked them up for us and brought it here right away so that next time, if that ever happens again, where we're running low on food, if her supply runs low, or if for whatever reason he's just eating like crazy, we don't have to worry about that because we can just dip into the formula. We tried it on him a little bit. He, his body completely agreed with it. He took to it no problem. So now that worry is taken care of and we don't have to worry about that. Yep. It's one thing at a time we're learning. So that is our advice to you as well. New parents, if you're listening, if you're going to have a baby soon, Make sure that when you come home, have some formula on hand just in case. Because in the first couple of days, I mean, this isn't really for me to talk about. This is more her her thing. But, uh, it takes a while to come in, and sometimes it's like a boomerang. It's up and down. So, exactly. It doesn't mean it'll happen to you, but if it does, you don't want to be caught off guard. Yeah. Because just because you have your baby doesn't mean you're producing right away. That's right. Especially if you had a C-section. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that can take longer, so... So there's some uh, parent advice from the, the trucker guy on YouTube. From the people who used to hate parenting advice. <laughs> yeah, we used to hate it when people give us parenting advice. Oh, we know everything. Yeah, it turns out we didn't know a heck of a lot. <laughs> I knew about 50% of what I needed to know. You don't know until you've been there. Yeah, so we'll, we'll say that we're giving gentle advice. Yeah. When we were getting advice from people, sometimes they were very, very kind of aggressive about it and blunt. Like, if you don't do it this way, like, you're, you're going to fail. Yeah. I mean, the worst parent ever. Like, we're just no. telling you our experiences and, and what would have helped us. Mm -hmm. Not everybody's experience is the same. In fact, nobody's is. So that's where we're at. I think, I think things are going pretty well, though. I think things are going really well. Tomorrow we have a visit from a nurse uh, coming just to see how he's doing, check up on him. Check his weight. Uh, check his weight. To see that he's gaining his weight back from the, the first few days that he lost. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think they'll be... I think he'll get a A-plus report card again. Well, with the way that he's eating, he darn well better. We, uh, when he was born, he was 7 pounds, 12 ounces. Still blows my mind. <laughs> and three days... No, 
two days later, but less than 48 hours 36 later, hours, yeah. 36 hours later, he was seven pounds, two, two ounces. ounces. So he lost 7.9% of body weight, which is right at the 8% mark that they get a little bit nervous over. But that's if he loses 8% in 24 hours or less, they get really concerned. This was 7.9% in 36 hours. Uh, so uh, we were cleared to be discharged and leave the hospital. And uh, he's he's already starting to gain it back. He's eating like crazy. He's a hungry, hungry boy. He is. He's a good eater. He's a foodie like his mom. Mm -hmm. But when uh, yes. new parents, when you're getting that, that tip that everybody tells you, like, oh, you better get some sleep now. <laughs> They're not joking. They're not joking. No, no, I no. thought people were just trying to be funny, like scare us. Like, <laughs> no, they were right. They were right. Oh, good bird. You will not sleep. So just be prepared for that. But we're not saying it's a bad thing. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. No. Nope. I'll trade all of my sleep to make sure that he has his sleep. Darn right. Me too. And I'll gladly do it. And I'll do it again. Diesel. You like your new little brother? Huh? Yeah? You like your new little brother? He's very noisy. He's, he's a lot. He's, he's different than I thought. Cheeky. Come here. Old man Weezy. Old man Weezy. It's hard being a big brother. Big thank you to... Uh, Cynthia, who helped us clean up this table here and part of our house. Since he's been home, we've uh, had a hard time keeping up with cleaning. Always lots to do. My neat freak skills have gone out the window. It doesn't even matter. There's no time. Ah, it doesn't matter. I got my computer over there. There's my little workstation trying to catch up with my videos and stuff. We got our dogs down here. So cluttered everywhere. So but. cluttered, but all that matters. It's functional. All that matters is that guy right there. As long as he's happy and healthy, we're fine. And the house is cluttered, yeah, but it's clean. Yeah, and our boys are taken care of. So mm -hmm. as long as the five of them are okay, we're fine. Yeah. And as for his room, we haven't really used it much yet except for storage. <laughs> and this is our one of our projects for like right now too, as soon as I put the camera down. I have to get this sofa cleared off because this is where we're supposed to be, you know, sitting with him, feeding him and you know, spending time with him in his room. That's why we put this room together for him, right? But we've been a little overwhelmed with everything. Haven't had a chance to do that yet. We will get to that. And then this crib, he's not going to be using for a few months yet, probably. But it's all here and ready for him right now. It's just holding his car seat. He hasn't gone on any car rides yet other than uh, from the hospital to here. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in, what was it, yesterday's or my last video, anyways, where we left the hospital. Taking this car seat from the vehicle into the hospital was quite, it was like an emotional journey for me. It was like something that's been building up for so long. And, you know, everybody knows what you're doing when you're taking an empty car seat into the hospital up to the third floor. So all the nurses that I passed, they all smiled and... Made comments like, oh, somebody's going home today. Oh, you're taking him home today? It was a, it was a great moment. Very proud moment. Like, yep. He's coming home. Brought him into the car. Carefully, carefully navigated the roads all the way home. Went slow and careful. Went through Tim Horton's drive through So in his, <laughs> was his third day of life. Is already in the Tim Hortons drive-thru. He didn't, I didn't order anything for him because he's sort of on a strict milk diet right now, but I got myself a coffee because I needed it badly. <laughs> got him home and now the fun begins. So I'm home for a few weeks yet uh, as we're getting adjusted. I'm really glad that I took this time because it would be a lot. It has been a lot, even for two of us here. And the time needed to bond is very important and I've been learning a whole ton it's been really fun though those of you who are parents out there uh, know the feeling very well and it's very interesting to and exciting to read your comments from all of you who have gone through this before and you know exactly what we're feeling you know exactly what's going on in our heads and that feeling like maybe dad's out there if you went down to bring the car seat up to bring 
your firstborn home. I'm sure you remember that very well. It's been great. On the topic of the truck, I still don't got it back. Still don't have it back. I called the shop and, you know, when uh, I told them to, you know, no rush, I should have been more careful with my wording. They took me seriously. <laughs> I didn't want to, like, them to push other trucks out of line or whatever out of queue because maybe they were in more of a rush than me. Eh, I said, no, nah, no rush. They took me serious. It's not done yet. Maybe they're waiting on parts. They, they could be waiting on parts. Uh, they got to do the sleeper airbags underneath my sleeper. I'm just kind of, I really want to get old blue back in my shop, get it parked in there. Uh, I don't like, you know, leaving it at the, the other shop there for so long without me. I miss him. You got a burp, sweetie. You can't just go straight to sleep, sticky boobs. You get burped. I need a burps. Another reason I want to get old blue back as soon as possible now is somebody needs to go see him. I want to introduce you to old blue. Old blue. Maybe your first car ride and your first trip outside the home oh, will be to go see one. the big truck. Oh, special one. Mm -hmm. Daddy can't fire it up around you though. It's too loud. Oh no. No, no, no. I'll just uh, bring him to see it. The big sparkly blue thing. He's out. <laughs> just like that. Fed baby's a happy baby. Is he ever? He <laughs> just ate a lot. Like a lot. Hungry baby. You're gonna grow up to be big and strong. Your purse. Yeah, big boy. Frank? Don't pee on my furniture. Come on, man. You know the rules. You know the rules. In the yard. Wiener, no eating yellow snow. Okay, that's the rule. That's, that's one of the rules in the yard. So many rules. Chevy. I just told Wiener, no eating yellow snow. Where's Diesel? Where's Diesel? Go get him. Diesel, get him. Get him. Get him, Diesel, get him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Go get him. There he is. Oh, you're gonna waste Sneaky. Sneaky. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what a move. Oh, hairball. What else is back here? Frank? What you eating there, bud? What you eating? Look at him go. Get him, Frank. Get him. Get him. Oh, yeah. Two against one. Got you back there, guy. I got you back. Everybody always against each other. Get him. Get him. Chevy. Chevy. Diesel. Get him. Now that we put the littles inside, even the playing field a bit. Oh, Chevy. Don't give up that easy. Clean up on aisle five. Clean up on aisle five. If it's not diapers, it's dog. That's my job. I'm the poop collector. slowly easing into the role I think I think we're doing a pretty good job I think so I mean things are working out I mean he's happy he's fed we have a lot of good family behind us and we're getting our sleep schedule sorted out so that I you know am rested and that Brit is rested so that we're both 100% all the time and of course this guy this guy's 110% right buddy Always 110%. Like 200% cuteness, look at that. This guy can make any tough trucker turn into a big softie in less than five seconds. It's a skill.
Thanks for watching today, everybody. I'm putting together a few more for you in the next couple of days. Maybe one tomorrow. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you get notified when it goes live. We'll be here at home for another week or two, or well, actually, no, a couple of weeks yet, while we're getting used to this parenting thing. So while I'm at home here, I'll try to get as many videos out as possible, try to keep you updated. We're, we're very excited. Can't stop staring at them, can't stop talking about them, can't stop posting pictures about them. I totally understand now. Like, in the past, did you cover your face up? There you go. And in the past, you're like, oh, all these new parents, they post so many pictures of their kids, right? I totally get it now. Totally get it. I gotta hold myself back. Like, I'm holding myself back so that I don't, like, overwhelm you on my social media. I wanna post, like, 500 pictures every day. I'm trying to just do like one per day. Take my favorite one. Maybe two. Oh, I might do three. I don't know. But you can find my pictures on my Instagram account. Links are down below all of my videos. That's trucker underscore Josh on uh, Instagram. On Facebook is where I'm most active. You guys know this already. Uh, Facebook is the one account where I am, uh, other than YouTube, where I am verified. You get that little blue check beside the name trucker Josh. That way you know it's me. Uh, Instagram, I'm not verified. I have tried and he should be verified look at him look at him focus focus yeah okay okay you can see him more in the next video